Davina McCall has been quick to defend her pal Ollie Murs after he was axed from the judging panel on The Voice as she's argued that Hess a brilliant panelist. The 39-year-old pop star, who first rose to fame on The X Factor in 2009, announced in September that he had been dropped from the ITV talent show after six years. The singer has since gone on to land a guest slot on The Masked Singer but fellow panelist Davina has spoken out to say she was surprised to hear that he had been let go from The Voice in the first place, The Mirror reports. She said, I've known Ollie his entire career so it feels like he's part of my work DNA. And he's a brilliant panelist. I really enjoyed having him on the show. He knows so much about music, he's great at picking out voices and he's lovely. We didn't talk about the voice, but he didn't seem down, he was absolutely chipper. She adds, I was surprised about, the voice decision, because I often look at Ali and think he's as good a TV presenter as he is a singer, and it's very difficult to get those two things right. Davina believes that Joel Domit, who hosts The Masked Singer on ITV, has the same talents, he's as good at comedy as he is at hosting. TV favorite Davina, 56, who has been a panelist on The Masked Singer since 2020, has a close relationship with Joel and his wife Hannah, who she has described as being like her nephew and niece. The pair are so tight that Joel told Davina that Hannah was expecting a baby before he told his own mum. Davina has also grown closer to her fellow panelist Rita Ora in the past year and even been seen partying with her in Ibiza. She said, I have different relationships with everyone. Jonathan Ross I speak to a lot by text, we check in on each other. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. Then my partner Michael and I are a bit like Joel and Hannah's auntie and uncle. We hang out quite a lot and spent New Year's Eve with them last year. Hannah had found out she was pregnant that day so it wasn't as rip-roaring as we intended it to be but we were so excited, obviously. And then Rita. Weirdly, Rita and I have become closer this year, I see her a bit more often. Previously she was never here because she is the busiest woman in the universe. Mo, Gilligan, is the same, always flying around. But Rita and I did manage to hang out in the summer. I went to a party she had in Ibiza and I felt really cool. It just so happened we were on holiday with the kids, and we said to them, please can we go to a party, kids? They were like, are you kidding me? Can we go? And we were, like, no. It was really good. The Masked Singer returned to screens this week with hilarious new characters including Bubble Tea, Air Fryer and the Eiffel Tower. Davina said, although the show format began in Korea, it feels like such a quintessentially British notion, being really silly. This series we have a guest panelist every week and I really enjoy it because they can't believe how nuts it is. Jennifer Saunders was brilliant to have on because she's one of my heroines, so to sit next to her was an actual joy. And she was at her funniest when she was rude. Her dry sense of humor was hilarious. Filming can be tough work with every episode taking up to four hours to record but Davina claims everyone is still buzzing at the end which is a really good sign. She claims that fans should brace themselves this year for the most incredible reveal. Davina teased, I had the biggest shock of my life. I've never been as surprised as I was at one particular unmasking. I'm not telling you anymore, but you're going to love it. The past year has seen controversial political figures such as Matt Hancock and Nigel Farage take on reality TV shows in an attempt to win over the public. However, 
Davina insists she wouldn't see red if a similar figure was to be unmasked on their stage as she said, other shows are a bit different because people can talk. They can be controversial. But on The Masked Singer, they're not being controversial, they're just there to entertain us. Off the show, I'll have my own opinion about you, but on the show, it's just, thanks for giving us everything you've got. Davina will also return for the second series of ITV dating show My Mum, Your Dad this year. The 56-year-old also has a successful online fitness platform called Own Your Goals and is planning to launch a lingerie brand called Sessie for Older Women in February. She said, It's really exciting. At times, it's almost been like therapy trying to get midlife women into pretty underwear. They say, what's the point? No one is going to see it. But the really big point is that they see it and feel it. Lingerie should be saucy and fun whoever you are, and that includes women of all shapes and sizes. In future, I want to make lingerie for women post breast cancer and cervical cancer, and make them really pretty and sexy. We all deserve to feel great, not for a man, but for us.